And right now, we're going to find out about another great play which is coming up in our area, put on by the Weebatuck Drama Society, Guys and Dolls, Friday the 15th, Saturday the 16th at 7, and Sunday the 17th at 2 at the Weebatuck High School on Hit Road in Amenia. And joining us right now is the director of that show, Joshua Stone. Joshua, good morning. It's the Iron Man, Marshall Miles, everyone. I don't know about Iron Man. <laughs> I'm, I'm actually dismayed to find out that you can be sick. No one <laughs> believes you can ever be sick, Marshall. <laughs> well, it, it happens, especially <laughs> at, at my Iron Man age. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> so, Now, how long have you been uh, directing uh, plays over at Weaver Talk? Well, this is my first okay. production at Weaver Talk as director. Last okay. year, I did the music, musical direction, um, um, with Heather Hollihan, and we did the Lynn Manuel Miranda play "Bring It On." That was uh, really fun. It was not that hard to get kids involved <laughs> because it's a show about teenagers, many of whom are cheerleaders. And as m- many of your audience might know, Weebatuck has a very strong cheering tradition. So that was a good show for for those kids. This year, we chose something golden era. And, uh, you know, I have nothing against Annie and Rip Van Winkle. <laughs> Michael is an old friend. Michael does fantastic work. He's, he's a treasure to have. And he's good. It's great. But Guys and Dolls is the classic Golden Era musical. There's nothing better. These songs are spectacular. And I will also take a moment to say it's at the very top of the most covered musicals of all time. Most performed songs of Broadway come from this show. Uh, One example I'm just going to mention is Miles Davis, If I Were a Bell. Go listen to that. It blows your mind. You know, and the great thing about the show is uh, gangsters yeah. In society, yeah. uh, uh, this this era is a hit. It doesn't matter whether you're uh, 15, 20, 30, 40, 60. The show really does appear uh, and appeal to just about every age group. Well, it's fun that way. And uh, I don't want to say that uh, that the show has uh, relevance today especially, but you can certainly <laughs> find it. Um, I, I also want to say there's something about the language, the Damon Runyon language. Um, it takes kids a moment. They don't talk like this normally, but once they start getting into the rhythm of the language, it's a blast. Um, uh, you know, the, uh, there's a moment in the play where Nathan Detroit is talking to Adelaide, and she's reading a book. The book turns out to be about psychology, as you listeners will know, some of them. And, and, and he says, you know, you're reading so many books lately, you're becoming a regular bookie. <laughs> she, she, doesn't know, she doesn't know what he means, and, and the actors have to be explained what a bookie is. Oh well, I, it's, you know, but but you're right. When you spoke about the songs in the, in the in the show, yeah. I mean, you've got "Luck Be a Lady" tonight. Luck be a lady. I if mean, I were a bell, there's also a "Fugue for Tin Horns." It's a three part canon about horse racing. It's magnificent. It's the opening num- opening song. Um, there's the song "Oldest Established," which is a classic Broadway song. Oldest established, permanent floating crap game in New York. It's just magnificent, one after another. Well, and uh, of course, uh, if you if you ever watch movies, sit down, you rock in the boat. Uh, I mean, I mean, <laughs> so glad you mentioned that. What an amazing song! And you know, that's the thing that the kids know. Uh, and I, I tried to explain that to them when we when we first got into it. That these songs are going to come back to you over and over again in life. You're going to find out. Oh, this person did it. Next thing I know, somebody brings in. There's a Lin Manuel Miranda version of "Sit Down, You Rock in the Boat" somewhere out there. It's uh, it's just really an unbelievable uh, musical that uh, has a great storyline and yet yeah. in, incorporates humor within that storyline, which is amazing. Yeah. No, it's just a lot of great lines. Uh, we're lucky in that some of the, you know, a, a lot of... Uh, texts that are 60, 70 years old, as you know, they get real stale um, and they get harder and harder to reproduce. In this case, some of the kids that have the fewest lines have some of the best lines. There's a wonderful role, Big Julie, which is traditionally the toughest gangster. All the gangsters, uh, the gamblers, crapshooters, whatever, in this show, they they're tough with their fists, and there is a lot of punching going on, I must say. But only one gangster carries a gun, and that's Big Julie. And so they're all the most afraid of Big Julie. In our case, the toughest gangster is also a woman. 
It's Big Julie is played by a wonderful uh, high school girl, Disha Patel, and ours, I'm proud to say, is a gender non-binary guys and dolls, and the kids are killing it. <laughs> well, you know, the, you know, you know, the true success of a song is when you uh, of a show actually is when you leave the show. And you're humming or either singing some of the songs. And Guys and Dolls is one of those shows that does that for all ages. And it really is a, it's a fun show. And the colors of, of and the style of dress yeah. are just wild. Yeah, you know, it is super fun. There's also an extended Havana moment, which we're making plenty of use of. We're going to really play up a Latin angle. There's, we're going to have timbales, several percussionists. Um, when they go to Havana, that's where... where um, um, where uh, Miss Sarah uh, learns to drink uh, dulce de leche and uh, thinks it would be a wonderful way to, for children to drink milk, and she sings a viral rebel, and it's it's just all in all kind of a blast. I, I do want to say that, you know, among these kids, that um, this is pretty unique for me. We would be rehearsing two, two and a half, three hours, and at the end, they just spontaneously break into the songs. Like, for example, one we didn't mention, Bushel and a Peck. Yep. They love it. It's, it's, we're speaking uh, with Joshua Stone, uh, the Weebatuck Drama Society, Guys and Dolls, Friday the 15th, Saturday the 16th at 7, Sunday the 17th at 2 at the high school on Hate Road in Amenia. Now, you can get advanced tickets up until March 11th. Uh, those are $10. Uh, it's 845 extension 3118. But after the 11th, the tickets at the door are $12. Seniors, $8. A family of four or more, $8 each and under five free. And you know what I found, and, and, and Joshua, maybe you can comment on this because you've been involved in music and productions like this for a long, long time. Yeah. Um, when I was in high school, we did one production, and it was, you know, it was, it, it was okay. But uh, you really had a scrape to get uh, students to do it. Nowadays, the students just seem to love to get involved in this. Well, I'm glad you mentioned that. There is a thing um, about doing a play um, which is absolutely just like building a universe. There's so many facets to it, and it really, this is really an example of that. Um, the cast, there's another 12, 15 kids that are just involved in tech, building, building sets, painting sets, building props. Um, there's so many people. I just mentioned a few names. Mr. Craig Wickwire, who's the art teacher there, has designed our sets. Yesterday I brought in uh, an old book called Hollywood Speaks, which he converted into a beautiful Bible by painting a cross on it so that Sarah has, has, a, has a, her Bible uh, for, the, for the show. Um, the thing is that um, the, the, the thing that's most important to me about this, Marshall, let me just take a moment to get serious, is it's doing a play like this, doing a play, being involved for weeks and weeks to make a production like this. It's not just helping you become good at the play. It's helping you become good at life. No, you're true. Uh, you know, I was involved in The Music Man 100 year, million years ago. Yep, yep. And one thing that people don't realize, th when you do a production, this team becomes molded together like a sports team like anything you, you become a family and at the end of the uh, the run it really is a, a hard breakup you know you're proving the point that i've been trying to make to these kids which is that we're going to do something you are never going to forget you're always going to men remember when you did your high school play especially if it's a good experience and so far has been wonderful for everybody you're never going to forget this plus the the thing is my job is to light a fire, to get them imagining that they can become something completely new. And you know what? They start doing it, then they have the costume, they have the makeup, they got the hair, they got the hat, the lights, they get up there, and they are something completely new. And you know what? That feeling never goes away because I was 30-something uh, when I did my only play, and I still talk about it to this day. Yeah, there you go. Well, Guys and Dolls, uh, Friday the 15th, Saturday the 16th, and Sunday the 17th, Weebatuck High School in Amenia. Uh, you can get tickets at the door, but tickets in advance before the 11th. Uh, Joshua, uh, break a leg. Best of luck with the show. Thanks so much, Miles. Great talking with you, and be well. All right, take care. Okay, bye. Joshua Stone, who is uh, the director of the Weebatuck uh, Drama Society production of Guys and Dolls. Thank you. Nathan Detroit's Crap Game. Because of a doll. I cannot believe that a number one businessman like you could let himself go and fall in love with his own fiance. All right, so Adelaide is my weakness. Can you not be tolerant that I have got a weakness? 
especially since this weakness is a sad condition that guys are in all over the world? Look, what's playing at the Roxy? I'll tell you what's playing at the Roxy. It's a picture about a Minnesota man so in love with a Mississippi girl that he sacrifices everything and moves all the way to Biloxi. That's what's playing at the Roxy. What's in the daily news? I'll tell you what's in the daily news. Story about a guy who bought his wife a small ruby with what otherwise would have been his union dues. That's what's in the daily news. What's happening all over? I'll tell you what's happening all over. Guy sitting home by a television set who used to be something of a rover. That's what's happening all over. Love is a thing that has licked them. And it looks like I'm just another victim. Yes, sir. When you see a guy reach for stars in the sky, you can bet that he's doing it for some doll. When you spot a John waiting out in the rain, chances are he's insane, as only a John can be for a Jane. When you meet a gent paying all kinds of rent for a flat that could flatten the Taj Mahal, Call it sad, call it funny, but it's better than even money that the guy is only doing it for some dog. And so the Weaver Tucker Drama Society, of course, that's Frank Sinatra and Friends. Guys and Dolls, a musical fable of Broadway. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, the 15th, 16th, and 17th at Weaver Tuck High School on Haight Road in Amenia. 